मेकानिकल एनर्जी मेकानिकल एनर्जी इज इन टू फॉर्म्स पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी टोटल मेकानिकल एनर्जी इज द सम ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी फर्स्ट आई शेल डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन टू पोटेंशियल एनर्जी टेक ए स्प्रिंग it has no energy if it is wound it acquires energy that is potential energy take a rubber band it has no energy stretch it a stretched rubber band has energy that is potential energy water stored in a reservoir has potential energy a bent bow has potential energy potential energy is due to its position our state so now we can define potential energy potential energy is the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position or state now i derive an expression to potential energy this is the ground consider a body on the surface of the ground whose mass is m its weight f is equal to mg acts vertically downwards now the body is lifted vertically upwards to a height h against gravitational force for this we need to do work the work done is given by fs cos theta instead of f i substitute mg instead of s i substitute h here theta is 180 degrees because force is acting vertically downwards displacement is vertically upwards so the angle is 180 degrees cos 180 is nothing but minus 1 work done is negative the negative sign indicates work done is negative numerically w is equal to mgh so the work done in lifting the body to a height small h above the ground level is stored in that body in the form of potential energy so potential energy p is equal to mgh this is the formula where m is the mass of the body g is acceleration due to gravity h is height above the ground level if the body is on the surface of the ground since h is equal to 0 its potential energy is zero for a freely falling body from certain height as the height decreases its potential energy decreases if a body is thrown vertically upwards as the height increases its potential energy increases now we discuss what is kinetic energy kinetic energy take a bullet it has no energy if the gun is loaded with a bullet and if it is fired the fast moving bullet will have energy that energy is called kinetic energy a stationary bus has no energy but when it when it is in motion it has energy such energy is due to its motion the energy due to motion is called kinetic energy so now we can define what is kinetic energy the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its motion is called kinetic energy flowing water has kinetic energy blowing air has kinetic energy a moving vehicle has kinetic energy now i shall derive an expression to kinetic energy
Consider your body of Marsium. It is moving with a velocity u. That means v. Its initial velocity u is v. It is moving with a velocity v. An opposing force is applied on the body in a direction opposite to its motion. The body is moving in this direction. Opposing force is applied in this direction. So, the, the body gradually slows down and finally the body comes to rest. Its mass does not change but velocity becomes zero. After traveling a distance, yes, it is stopped. It will have negative acceleration. First, I find that acceleration. u is equal to v. Final velocity v is equal to 0. Displacement s is equal to s. Yes. Acceleration a is equal to question mark. From v square minus u square is equal to 2 as. 0 square minus v square is equal to 2 a s minus v square is equal to 2 a s and a is equal to minus v square by 2 a s. Here negative sign indicates the body has negative acceleration or deceleration. I find the opposing force from Newton's second law f is equal to m a. So, opposing force is equal to minus mv square by 2s. Even though the opposing force is applied, the body has travelled a distance s yes, and finally it is brought to rest. So, the body applies an equal force in opposite direction. So, the force applied by the body f is equal to minus fr. So, f is equal to minus, minus mv square by 2s. f is equal to mv square by 2s. This is the force applied by the body. Here, the body has done work. The work done by the body, w is equal to fs. w is equal to mv square into s. This work is done by the body by virtue of its motion. So, this work is nothing but kinetic energy. So, kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. This is the formula to kinetic energy where m is the mass of the body and v is its velocity. If the body is at rest, its kinetic energy is zero. If its velocity increases, Ke also increases. For a freely falling stone from certain height, as the velocity increases, its Ke increases. If a stone is thrown vertically upwards, its velocity gradually decreases, so kinetic energy also decreases. Now, I shall derive an important theorem that is called work energy theorem that is the last topic in our class work energy theorem this is a body whose mass is m it is moving with a velocity u a force is applied on the body in the direction of its motion, this force is called constant resultant force. Due to the application of the force, its mass does not change, but its velocity is changed from u to v during a time t. In this time, the body has travelled a distance s. Yes. Now, acceleration. a is equal v minus u by t and average velocity is equal u plus v by 2. 
now i calculate distance distance s is equal to average velocity into time s is equal to u plus v by 2 into t now i want to find the work done by the force here force did work initially the body is moving with a velocity u by the application of the force its velocity is raised from u to v so here work is done by the force i want to find that work the work done by the force the work done by the force w is equal to fs w is equal to instead of f i write ma so mas this is from newton second law w is equal to mas here i write w is equal to m instead of a i write v minus u by t instead of yes i write u plus v by 2 into t t gets cancelled w is equal half m into v minus u into v plus u v square minus u square and then w is equal half m v square minus half m u square So, so the work done by a constant resultant force on a body is always equals to change in its kinetic energy this is called work energy theorem this is the relation between work and change in kinetic energy okay thank you see you in the next class